going to learn how to back up and restore a SQL server. Um, so a SQL database basically, right? Um, so let me show you something real quick before we get started. So I want to show you the difference between an interactive and a scheduled policy. So this is from the last segment, right? So the, um, the difference being when you click on general and you see job started from or by started from scheduled. So that's one that you have where it's scheduled to back up. That's how you notice the difference. And the other one is uh, under general, you see that's it was interactive. So I started that one actually. So that's the uh, that's the difference between the two. Okay. So so I'm going to log into my database. This guy here. Uh, this database here, and I'm going to actually going to going to create some data on him or put some data on it actually just you know something we're going to click on the SQL um, SQL Management Studio right there 2014 we're going to log into the the SQL database Windows authentication and I'm not going to do anything um, right yet because I have a backup running a full actually running so um, I'm just going to after that's done then I'll make it our changes here I'm actually going to go over to my com serve and I'm just going to beef it up to say like 500 gigabyte thin provision. I don't um, I don't need that much, uh, but I just want to make sure I, I have more than I, I need. Okay, now we have 500 gig. Nice. Okay. So it looks like I I got a, a failure on that uh, that job actually. So so basically, um, I did a restore right before this, not a restore, rather a backup with the SQL database. And um, just to see if it would work, you know, before I take you on through this like hour long thing, right? Anyway, um, so according to this, so these are the easy ones, right? So error occurred during backup, meaning, uh, so the permission denied uh, in the, in, in database master backup database is terminating and aborting right so it's a permissions issue so that means that I guess I'm admin here for backup um, doesn't have rights to back up that uh, that database so let's take care of that actually first before we get anything else so we're gonna go to security we'll go logins and we'll look at um, dome admin and uh, dome eight uh, rather domain admin should work um, let's take a look at should should have worked actually let's see double click on domain admin or actually yeah double click so I'm gonna go um, server roles and public sysadmin yeah I should have access to it um, to actually do that so I may yep I should have access to it user mappings let's see what I'm mapped to Okay, actually, let's go to general. That should tell me something. So, master. Okay, good there. Um, so, domain admins, server roles. I'm good there. User mappings. Um, I don't need to do anything there. Nope. Scurables. Good there. Because I'm an admin, right? So, status. Grant and enable. Good. Yep. Okay. Everything's good there. Let me go back to the um, com server and see what I'm backing up as. Okay. Let me take a look at what I'm backing up as. Who is the account? Okay. Looks like accounts are on this local account. Let me see real quick here. Right click on SQL. Go to properties. Okay. Let's go do this. Let's do, um, let's click on SQL authentication. What can we do there? Okay, let's do this. Let's do security and we'll go add and we'll give it, um, let's give it admin, right? Because I'm admin. That's a domain admin backup. Let's give it backup. Let's see, master domain admins. There we go, domain admins. That's what we want. We're going to add it there. Uh, click on the role, right? I'm a 
admin master. Sure. Okay. Okay. Good. Uh, that should be good. There. And let's go ahead and give that another run. Before we do that, let's just go over how you set up the backup, really, for the SQL Server, actually. Let's do that. So, you open the SQL Server up, SQL Server, and you're going to choose which one you want to back up. We're not backing up the Commvault database one. We're not backing up this guy here. No, we're not doing that. We're actually doing the SQL, the one we actually created, right? So, um, first things first. So, you need to assign the storage policy. We'll right click on it. We'll go properties. Okay. Um, click on uh, content. This is what you're actually backing up, right? So in order to, to figure that out, you click on configure. And what, what happens is you discover. So you're discovering what are the databases in here, right? And uh, Let's actually do that. Let's just delete it. Show what I'm talking about here. Delete and delete. Okay, configure. Okay, we're going to do discover. When you do discover, um, it's actually going to prop up these here. It's already here, so yeah, you just. What you do is you can click on one or the other. You click on the first one, let's say, right? But they're all there. Okay. The other thing is um, we'll click on the storage device. You need to make make a storage policy for it, and also the log uh, storage policy. So you have in 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 SQL you need two things. You need a full, which is usually going to be on the data uh, storage policy, and then you need a log file, transactional log file. Um, storage policy. You, this is where you put it at. So let's change this to streams to I don't know, five, let's say. Um, data transfer option, same thing. We're going to turn off the software compression and the duplication. We're going to disable duplication. SQL settings itself. So block size, we're going to leave this default actually. Since we've already set the permissions on the SQL Server, we're going to leave this alone here actually. So then we got backup rules. So uh, it's going to convert to a full if uh, a differential. Um, if you're doing the first, if you if you click on differential and you run a, a backup and it's never done a full, it's going to convert it to a full. That's what that means. Okay. So we're good here. Uh, activity control that's enabled. Yep. General, uh, client name, SQL, subclient, right? Um, yeah, allow multiple. Okay, so we'll click OK on that one. Next thing we want to do is go into storage policy. And um, so we're going to create, we're just going to edit this one, but I'm going to show you what it looks like the SQL one. And then, um, so that's SQL. Click on associations so we can associate. I'll just show you what it looks like, really. Um, so you're going to click on the client computers, SQL. Here's an important thing to uh, pay attention. That is that the SQL Server, the um, the actual one you want, you can just check mark it. You can even scroll down to the default, right? So we know that's good. View. Okay. No alerts, no security. Oh wait, actually, yeah, the um, the creator, right? So this is the object. Since I have domain rights, it should work. So, at any rate, uh, push OK on that, and we're good. So now, um, let's go over to our actual database and uh, create something. Okay. What we're going to do, we're going to actually create a new database, right? So let's do that, actually. Mm, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's create a new database. So we typed on, we just hit new query. We'll go, um, we'll create um, 
database data base uh, let's go SQL um, let's go SQL backup and restore backup restore right okay and execute okay excellent okay so we'll just do a refresh where's the refresh at oh right click refresh okay so my database oh it's here excellent awesome sweet all right so we're going to create some tables here um, okay so let's create yeah we're going to create tables right so we're in the actual one so here create here so new query we're in the actual one right uh, we're going to do create tables so the so the name of my table is going to be Commvault version 11 class or v11 class uh, the inter the ID integer the name variable variable character 30 characters um, the lectures variable characters 30 and then I'm going to run I'm going to execute it if you like this video and you want to see more please jump on to my course which is I have two courses one is at get a job in it.teachable.com and the other course is on Udemy it's learn backup and restore with Commvault get a high paying job you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel just type in Gary McNeely or Commvault Whisperer there's some good content there related to this if you would could you click on the subscribe button and click on notifications Thank you very much.